Hello, I'm Forrest Tanaka, and I wanted to let you peek over my shoulder as I do a fun photo shoot tonight. I was inspired to do this when I was looking over the, some of the photos in the Strobus Flickr group, and I saw these photos that were spectacular from a contributor named, who goes by the name of Dan D. And I was just amazed by how incredible they looked. And his setup shots showed that they were very simple, actually. And uh, shots that I could think I might be able to take myself. So I'm going to give this a try and uh, see what I come up with. I decided to drop a strawberry into some water and take a picture of uh, the splash and the strawberry going underwater. So we'll give that a try. Now you'll see the video quality go down quite a bit because I'm going to do this on my iPhone whereas right now I'm recording this on my 5D Mark II which uh, takes a great HD video whereas the iPhone takes this little kind of tiny cheap video but it's convenient. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to show you my setup for this strawberry splashing into water shot. I have this uh, old plastic, plastic fish tank. Um, it's a little bit in bad shape. It was a real fish tank for a while, and so it has some, a few hairline cracks here and there that uh, we'll probably have to take care of in Photoshop. And I have this Canon 480EX flash triggered by a radio popper and this has an audio splitter so at one end of the splitter is connected to the 480EX that's lining up the side and the other end is to this 580EX which is lighting up our backdrop. I've got a spot grid on this flash and that's to reduce the size of the beam of light from this flash uh, to something very small and all this is is a bunch of straws put together and so you don't have to go very far off axis before you can't see the light anymore so very handy thing and not very expensive so what is our backdrop well I wanted it to be blue and it's just this piece of uh, acrylic that's used for uh, uh, framing pictures and it still has its blue protective uh, plastic on it and so that's it's a little bit translucent so this uh, 580 EX will put a circle of light onto uh, right up through this uh, uh, piece of acrylic and our third flash is right here this is a Vivitar 285 HV it's fired by its own radio popper now you notice both the 430EX over there and this uh, Vivitar are flagged. It's just a piece of foam, black foam, I got at a local craft store for about, I don't know, $2 or so. See, it's on this one as well. That's to keep the light of the these flashes from hitting our backdrop and illuminating it too much. Okay, our camera is this Canon 40D 10 megapixel camera with a 70 to 200 f2.8 lens and you can see I also have the radio popper transmitter on here and that's going to let us fire our flashes remotely so if I push the test button here test button on the back you'll see all the flashes firing pow now there's way too long a distance between our camera and our fish tank where I'll need to be to drop the strawberry into the water. That's way too long for our uh, for my um, cable release which I have right here that I was using for testing. It's way too far to reach. I mean that's as far as it goes. So what I'm doing is I'm shooting tethered. What that means is I've got this laptop here connected over USB all the way to my camera. And I have the Canon software, where if I just click this button right here, it'll trigger the camera and the flashes. And then I have Adobe Lightroom sitting here. You can see my touch shot of a martini glass, made it easy to check the focus. Uh, and that will be automatically picking up the shots as I take them. 
and you can see the problem here with uh, some of these scratches in the plastic. Be much better to use a glass tank, but I don't have a glass tank. And this is just a fun shoot, so this will do. I'll just uh, take those out in uh, Photoshop. Got my strawberry. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to trigger the flash or the camera at just the right time because there's a little delay when I'm triggering it from the computer. So I'll have to anticipate that. So I'll center it because that's where I focused. And I won't drop it from too high a height because I don't want it to splash too much. It's not really about the splash. It's about the um, strawberry in the water. So here's our first try. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, that was way too big a delay than I was expecting. 43 shots later, and I finally got the shot I want. And here is the raw image. So I think that'll look great. The splash is just right, and the level of the strawberry is just right. So now we're going to post-process.